says the salon is putting social distancing measures in place to help flatten the curve. Our main objective is limiting the amount of people that come into the salon at one time. So if they usually bring a visitor with them, we're going to cut that out and wait till we finish checking out one client before we text a client that will be in the car curbside before they can enter the salon. I was in beauty salons and over 4,500 barber shops. Well, right now, taking a look at your screen, you're looking at video of hair shops operating under tight guidelines after some states already reopened for business despite the COVID-19 pandemic. Now, even though North Carolina is in phase one of the reopening plan, hair salons are still closed at this time. Now, hairstylists in our state are preparing for the possibility to open under phase two of North Carolina's reopening plan. Now, Governor Roy Cooper could make the decision during today's press briefing at 5 p.m. when McCray Huff is a hair guidelines. Take a listen. A lot of people like to bring their friends with them. No friends allowed. Just you come by yourself, get your hair done. Um, if you know you're not feeling well, that's been years I've been sick over clients, you know. They, they're sick and still come and making me sick. So just, just you know, just make, just, yeah, just make sure that you're, you're in good health and if you're not, just stay at home. Tighten up across the board. Okay, what are your thoughts as a hairstylist? What are some what you would consider do's and don'ts, things that clients should know during this time? Uh, the main thing with me with clients is, is basically what he said. Don't bring anyone with you. Uh, a lot of people like to bring their friends with them. No friends allowed. Just you come by yourself, get your hair done. Um, if you know you're not feeling well, that's been years I've been sick over clients, you know. They they're sick and still coming making me sick. So just just you know just yeah. make just yeah just make sure that you're in, you're in good health and if you're not just stay at home. Mhm mm mhm. Mm and what else, um, Bradley? Should clients know when it comes to a hair salons opening up shop? Just I think the main thing too is you know, we haven't gotten to go ahead. So a lot of times a, a lot of stylists have not even started booking. I colored and cut it and I made. 10 times the money that I did on the men's haircut. So that was my epiphany. Uh, and that's the moment Bradley Tuggle realized there was a great career in making women's hair look good. See how that made him a national figure and why he believes salons should be allowed to reopen in this evening's small business spotlight.